everybody. I want to show you an album that I made, and this was a lot of fun, and I want to have to tell you my inspiration. Um, I watched Laura on Following the Paper Trail, and she, this is the second one I have made. She made a fish fishing basket with all these little things inside. This is my second one that I've started. And I decided that I wanted to try an old-fashioned method my mother used to use on Valentine cards. And I just took um, some cardboard, um, uh, just very thin uh, chipboard, not chipboard, um, cardstock. <laughs> and I just wove it together. And look how awesome the basket looks. Line the inside. I just thought it was really cool. And I put it on cereal box. And I thought that was just really, really cool. So I had a couple of sheets left over. And I decided to make the Guy mini album. And I love, love, love this trim. Um, this is some that I had gotten and uh, from Walmart. They were closing out their craft section. And it's got these great little places to add charms. I haven't done that, but I'm planning to. And so I just added, this is the cover from the Guy uh, stack paper. Um, and it just, it just was really, really cool. So then you just open it up, and I added two of the pockets that I created for uh, the Hammer Father's Day Mini. And I added some buttons and put some thread through and just added some uh, pins. And then I added some tags to each side. This is some of the paper that I did not use in the Hammer album, so the whole pack has really gone a long way. This is Mind's Eye I got just for a package. It was like 99 cents at Michael's. And this is some of the same pieces. I didn't do anything fancy to it. I put Dad at the top. That's a thumbtack inside. This was a, a piece out of a O from this letter set. Then I just added a um, photo spot. And I, trim, I cut this out of a journaling spot. I think it's Kane Company that made them. And I just cut out the design. I keep one as a template. This, you can put a picture there, and then again, that's another piece. And then I added tags to the top. And then I added tags to the side. So, pretty cool. And I did something different with the brad. I'm not, I hope that you can see this. Um, I took the one end, I spread them out, and then I took one end and went under the paper. Then I took the other one, and I curled it up and then I added a pin to it. You could add a charm or something. And I did that on all the corners. And I did the same thing to this page. This is just a photo spot. I put my guy. And um, then I just curled up the edges. And I thought it made a really cool trim. I thought it was just kind of smart. And then this was a vintage uh, key that I had. And I just added uh, a journaling spot here. And then just trimmed it out. And then here is another... Um, photo journaling spot that can just be untied, maybe. <laughs> now put him on there, and there's a photo spot, and then it opens up into three spots for journaling or photo, and there's additional one. Here I just used a piece of chipboard and covered the outside, and again I used brads, and I curled up the edges, and then I just added some tags with some journaling spots. Very simple, very easy, and very guy friendly. <laughs> then I added some Tim Holt pieces here. And then I just added some ribbon here to the edge. And I put the ribbon through where I curled the uh, brad. And I curled it at both sides. There's two little tags in here and then a, a spot for a uh, photo or journaling and then there's additional spot. And that's all I did to the edge so that the brad comes through and you can put the ribbon through it. Then here I just um, embossed two photo frames. They're open at the top. And uh, this was just a piece from some lettering that I had. This, my son wanted to cut off the tips of a garden gloves. Um, he was just fooling around doing something. And so I took some of the trim from it and attached it to the frame. Then here I just added some buttons. Um, and then used uh, glossy accents to stick them down, and then again, the frame. I'm not sure if these are Tim Holtz or if these are just some fun uh, grunge board that I had. Then I added a journaling spot. And then I got World's Greatest Dad. That could even be covered up and changed. I put that on chipboard. Added a journaling spot. This paper was fun. 
my husband brought in a mocha frat for me last night, so I needed a pocket, and I thought, why not? So, <laughs> if your guy doesn't do coffee, you can easily probably take that off and change it. Then I used shipping tags, and I just made a pocket, and I just, I used glossy accents at the bottom, and just stuck it in, and it doesn't have a brand on here whatsoever. And then I use letters to write coffee. And then there's the back of it. And I found a button that said design, and then I put my name on it. And um, the date. So this was just really cool. It's really a lot of fun. And my husband kind of watched me as I went through the process. And uh, I thought it was just a cool thing. And I love, love, love the chipboard that I had uh, covered up. And again, this is um, cereal boxes. This whole thing is a cereal box in the background and for the pages. So I thought that was pretty cool. So think about recycling and if you get a chance to check out Laura's Ustream at Following the Paper Trail, um, you'll see how she made the fishing box and um, I had such fun doing this. I've already made one and given it away and um, so I started this one and it's just a fun thing. Thanks. Sorry about that. That's my dog. Thanks for joining me.